Hello and welcome to Mr. X Baking Class. It's Taco Tuesday. Okay, it's not really Mr. X Baking Class. Welcome back to the art room with Mr. X. But we are making tacos because every day is Taco Tuesday in the art room. Um, if you need to go over the basics of uh, clay sculpting, I have a video called uh, Clay 101 that talks about how to make your clay not too thick, not too thin. Um, not too wet, not too dry, all that good stuff, how to join pieces of clay together. So check out that video if you're watching this online. In class, we will have just watched that video. Here's what you're gonna need for this project. I'm gonna need some kind of clay. Like I've got some artist clay here, but you could also use Play-Doh or um, salt dough that you can make. Uh, easy recipes are found online um, or a Crayola Model Magic works good. So, um, so I've got my clay, I've got my sculpting tools. These are what we use in the art room. You could also use a uh, plastic knife, like plastic utensil knife, um, or a popsicle stick works fine, anything like that. Um, you'll need a cup of water and some some kind of texture. Like I found this uh, shelf liner for a dollar at uh, Dollar Tree, so that's what uh, I'm gonna be using for my texture, but anything you have around the house uh, should be fine. Uh, just check with your parents before you start smashing clay onto stuff. All right, let's make some tacos. All right, I've got my texture here in place. I've got about a tennis ball sized hunk of clay. I'm gonna pinch off about half of that. And the rest, I'm going to put down and smash it down onto my texture. And then using time lapse, I'm going to kind of smack this a little bit to get it uh, thinner and a little bit larger. All right, so now I've got it about the size of a regular soft taco shell uh, tortilla. And as you see, it's it's still pretty thick. It's about, uh, I don't know, quarter to uh, half inch thick because we don't want it to be too thin because then it will fall apart when it dries. I'm gonna peel this up. I got a nice texture on the back for my tortilla. And some of that will get smashed and flattened while I'm working on it, but that's okay. I just wanted something there so it's just, just not smooth clay. That's kind of boring. So then I'm going to fold it like a taco. I'm going to press it down so it will be flat on the bottom like that. So it'll be able to stand up. Now, what do we want on our taco? First things first, we've got to have some meat. Um, I know a lot of tacos have ground meat. That's going to be kind of hard to do with clay though. So I'm going to make some strips of meat, like some fajita meat. So to do that, I'm going to get a hunk of clay. I'm going to kind of squeeze it into a rectangle shape. You kind of use your, you tap it on your table or wherever you're sculpting. Usually um, fajita meat is in little strips. So something like that works great. I'm going to make a few of those. So now, to get these to stay where I want them in my taco, we're going to do something called scoring and blending. So scoring is when you cut lines into your taco, or wherever you're wanting to add clay to. I'm going to put some on the sides of my taco shell as well. This will help our pieces of our taco stick together. And I'm going to put some, I'm going to score the bottom of my first piece of meat. And we're also going to do something uh, well, normally this is called adding slip. Slip is really, really watered down clay. I don't have any slip, I just have clear water, but it will work fine. So I'm going to put some water. Spilled my water a little bit. Um, first I'm going to put some water on the taco shell. So it's nice and wet, and then my uh, clay is going to be nice and wet. I'm going to just kind of press it down. So sometimes I like to do scoring and blending, but with this project it doesn't really make sense. So we're going to do scoring and water. That's 
So now I've got my meat and my tortilla. So now we need like some maybe some random vegetables and some cheese and some lettuce. So I think next I'm going to add some tomatoes and really you're only going to see kind of parts of this in the taco, not a whole lot. So I'm just going to make some long thin strips, kind of similar to the meat. And that's going to represent my tomatoes and I'm kind of keep it simple. I'll just have to remember that when I'm painting this later. But those curvy lines or curvy curvy pieces represent my tomatoes. If you don't like tomatoes, you might have to put tomatoes on there. Um, next, I'm going to do some lettuce. So I'm going to get a decent sized chunk and I'm going to flatten it. Pretty pretty skinny, pretty thin. And then lettuce is real kind of wavy. I'm gonna make some wavy lettuce. This is really too thin to uh, score, so I'm just going to wet it real good and stick it against the side of the tortilla. I'll probably do that on each side, and I'm gonna put cheese on the top. So I'm gonna make it nice and thin. And wavy. Nice and wet. Put some lettuce there on the side. I think I need a little bit more lettuce. Alright, and for the cheese, if you don't have, I'm going to be using a garlic press. If you don't have a garlic press, then you could just like get your um, your plastic knife and just cut a whole bunch of strips. But um, I have heard the garlic, garlic press works really good, so let's try that. I'm going to stick a small ball of clay in the garlic press, and let's do it. Oh my goodness, look at that cheese. I'm going to scrape it off. I want to keep those as individual as possible, but I'm going to wet the bottom so they'll help stick. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Maybe a little bit more for my other side of my taco. Cut it off like that. Wet the bottom side and stick it on there. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. And uh, after you complete that, you should have a nice, full, delicious taco. Notice how the bottom is real flat? We want that so that way your sculpture doesn't fall over um, after it's done. So now we need to set this up to dry. I would say at least two weeks um, if you're going to fire it um, to make sure it's dry inside and out um, and then you can fire it and then paint it. That's what we'll be doing in the art room. If you have air dry clay, just let it uh, sit for a while until it's nice and hard and then you can paint yours and then it'll be all done. So congratulations and happy Taco Tuesday.